so why I'm doing this video is just because almost every day I get getting this kind of customer that they're, they're asking my phone have a network IC problem or I have a motherboard problem I don't get any service uh, I have a no service issue so I saw your video you do a lot of uh, baseband repair and network IC repair but before that we always check like this so there's some of the customer that don't even know they bought a telco phone so what is telco phone it is a new knowledge to them only they try to google it but in as i said before uh, only our malaysia have this kind of problem so far all the other country the phone is totally not acting like this if you put a sim card in it, it it will show you a proper message so if if we put a sim card it only show no service and no other message that they didn't know what happened okay so uh, hopefully this video can help you to diagnose and avoid this kind of problem okay today we talk about telco log so here i'm gonna teach how to tell the difference between telco log baseband problem network ic problem multiple problem or whatever that cause you have a no service issue okay but before i tell you the telco log if in case you are the foreigner most of you you guys don't know that malaysia that can also like at&t the usa at&t you sign the phone for a cheap price so if you didn't clear the contract you didn't finish the contract and you don't pay the bill you will get blocked by the operator and then the operator will tell the apple to lock down your phone so your phone won't be able to use any malaysia sim card only any malaysia sim card only so if the phone you bring to outside let's say singapore thailand or any country you still can use only the malaysia sim card is banned so the he forced the owner to clear the bill but even the owner willing to clear the bill it need months maybe a few, a few months to in order to unlock it back you know so this is kind of the lot the foreigner that don't know only the malaysia we will have uh, this issue uh, the term name for this issue telco lock okay now i'll show you when you got blocked from the telco telco lock when you get the telco lock it should be like this so after you put a sim card for sure that there's no service okay in order to know whether your motherboard have a problem about baseband or network ic the first thing actually we we will press star h06 h so there will be an email appear mean the baseband the circuit of baseband is working so what about the network ic it's easy even your no service you get blocked you press 112 to call the emergency you should able to call out like this so the line is busy so it will be able to call out like this so the first and second step we all need to know the motherboard actually is working so the third step is to check the telco lock only the Malaysia have this kind of problem so it is no service now so we go to setting general about here and then in this network section doesn't matter what iOS you are using 30.6, 30.61 or both or older this button if you get a telco lock you say network you can press it so it will say phone not allowed let me show you clearly it will be like this phone not allowed so let's say if i put it to the normal phone okay and plug the sim card let's say i put it in a normal phone before i put it in a normal phone i show you again okay so this button is clickable when the button is clickable it means this phone is telco lock and we put the sim card in here this is the normal phone iphone 7 plus okay same model <laughs> Okay. So I give go to setting so I get a signal, right? 
doesn't matter so once I get a signal everything called I don't need to test right so just go to straight away here just I think general about here you see the network section not only I get the SIM card operator signal the carrier is writing in here this button is totally not clickable you are unable to click into that message you are, you are not getting full not allowed right so now you understand how to check the telco load so unplug it even after unplug you are unable to click this button at all so that's the difference between telco lock and symptoms of telco lock anyway, by the way i believe this problem is only happened in malaysia so far i see a lot of uh japanese phone and uh us phone even they get locked by at&t or things like that okay even they get blocked the the phone is totally unable to use any sim card they are only able to use in their own country and their own operator that kind that wouldn't get this kind of message also okay now that you know the difference between telco lock and the normal iphone okay if the normal iphone you have a baseband problem you can already check by step one and step two right or network ic problem you are if you have a network ic problem you should unable to call out the emergency right you usually say uh call fail things like that the message is showing call fail if you are malaysia phone and you suspect you have a motherboard problem you should go to the step one and step two i mentioned earlier okay i forgot to mention even some of the customers they go to the telco center and the telco service center tell them the phone has no lock but we already check in the system i don't see the phone is locked okay but you're still getting this kind of problem <coughs> and the message so you might start to suspect what, whatever i say in earlier right but actually it's like this whoever who lock you is actually uh, apple responsible you know this kind of service center this kind of telco service center their server is not up to date or or not linked with the apple server so this is why when the apple lock your phone they are unable to check they keep saying no, your, your, your thing is clear and you pay the bill i already see nothing log like that they just give you blah 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 okay they don't see a problem just because their server is unable to link up with the apple but if you check with the apple they can tell you if you're in a receive center they can tell you but they always say go go back to the telco they can just push you push you around like a ball okay so a lot of customers get peace they, they, they start to think it, it might be a a motherboard problem you know actually it is not uh how do we find out this kind of problem okay after a few months the customer go back to the sender the telco center and ask uh, what is the status of my phone is it locked or not locked and then they found out, ah it's locked and not long ago yeah what the hell the phone has been uh is locked by you guys in a few months ago now you tell me just get locked you see that's the problem they want to try to be professional but eventually they just push you like a ball they cannot tell you the problem and eventually you end up with people like me okay and i will tell you okay this is a telco lock and you are not going to believe it right so why not you just go back to the telco and ask them after a few months let's see what they say about it so in the conclusion about the telco device if you're asking about any solution for it i'm sorry so far i also don't have any solution for this the only solution we left is quite expensive you need to replace a whole device or either the motherboard at least cost you a few hundred so it's quite not worth it it's best you can if you want to minimize the damage you should sell it in to the foreigner let's say you sell it in singapore and thailand that you can use it and then you buy back the same model by that you won't be losing so much you maybe you lose one or two hundred ringgit like that
So make sure when you buy the phone, you, you the owner have a receipt, or maybe you you bring the serial number to to the any Apple center. You you tell them to check whether this phone is officially uh, bought it from Apple authorized retail or telco. So if the phone is from telco, there's a risk you might get locked if the owner is uh, not paying or not claiming the contract of the phone. That's it for the sharing. See you next time. Bye.